Hi, and welcome to Kavita TV, where extraordinary women find extraordinary love. Today, I'm answering the question, why am I not myself in front of men that seem like they're more good looking than me, or more successful than me, or more intellectual than me, right? And I'm sure this has happened to you before, and maybe you've watched yourself get like kind of aggressive or really chatty with this person in the moment, or maybe you just totally shy away and shut down and not even engage or try to even engage with that person. And so I want to unravel this question for you, and there's three different parts that I want you to get out of this question. So the first part is to kind of let yourself off the hook. It's pretty normal to be around somebody that we admire in some way and start to freak out inside. It's just a normal thing. And if you put pressure on yourself in that moment to be perfect or like be yourself again, it will, what you resist in that moment will keep going. So you're just going to be so in your head around why you're not being yourself and never come out of it. So in that moment, just be easy with yourself. Like, okay, I'm kind of freaking out over this person and that's okay, right? That's the first part. Because the truth is, and I know you all know this, but I'm just gonna repeat it. Everybody puts on their pants one leg at a time, right? Everybody has 24 hours in a day and everybody shits, <laughs> right? So when we start to remember that, like it brings that man off of that pedestal that we've just put him on and brings them down to the same playing field with you, right? That's one. Two is get present to that moment. And I'll give you an example. I was actually at this book launch event and it was a, a man that was a New York Times bestselling author. And so in the room, it was kind of at this club and in the room there were a lot of guys around. And I happened to be connecting with some people and there was this uh, this guy that's an entrepreneur and his business is probably worth 30 million dollars and he was right in front of me and I wanted to connect in some way but I was freaking out inside I was like oh my god I'm like nothing compared to this person how am I going to even connect with him or make an impact or say anything cool right and so I just kind of stopped I took a deep breath I looked around the room and I just said the first thing that came out of my mouth around an observation that was occurring in the room, which was, wow, there are a lot of dudes in this room. And he heard me and he was just like, yeah. And he started to engage with me and said, yeah, it's so true. And then just started to ask me, what do I do? And, and we started to chat and get to know one another. And, you know, he, he actually ended up giving me some really good advice about my business in that moment. So that's, Two, what I want you to do is just bring all of your senses to the present space in the room. Make a natural observation about what's happening in the room. Maybe it's about the host. Maybe it's about a friend that's in the room. Maybe it's about how you felt earlier today. And make it feel a little positive and uplifting, right? Because people want to be around like positive people, right? That just feels good. So make that a little bit more positive, right? And I know that my example wasn't positive per se, but my example was just natural, right? Like there are a lot of dudes in observation in the room. The third piece of this is listening, right? Sometimes we are so in our heads that we're not even present to the moment when he starts speaking and asking us questions or allowing ourselves to like just start the conversation. And you just start it off, like I said, with that observation. And then as he's engaging, listen. And instead of saying, oh my God, I'm just talking to this amazing, good, amazingly good looking man, because that sometimes can happen, and start to say, okay, I'm knocking him off that pedestal. He's just a human being, and listen. And then interact and connect. Because when you do some deep listening work, which I honestly have to say, many of us are not in the practice of listening. We're just ready to either say the next thing or ready to say you know, hear ourselves out loud, or we're anticipating what they're saying. So really using some deep listening skills. So those three things will really help you in those moments connect with this man that feels like he's out of your league. I want to hear, have you ever had this moment happen to you? What was your reaction to that moment? And what will you do the next time you meet a man like this? I want to hear all about it over at kavitajpatel.com. Just go there and under this video, you can type us a comment and I want to hear what your experiences have been around this. 
And if you've liked and enjoyed this video, I would love you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I will be delivering way more information and knowledge and wisdom around love and dating. And my specialty is really going deep around how you can be exactly who you want to be and let go of all of those dating roles. So I will see you here next time on Kavita TV.